Hello everyone, this is Sci Soldier here, continuing with our Let's Play Skyrim modded, the Necromancer. We have just reached Ustengrav in the tomb of uh, Jurgen Windcaller. I believe it's the tomb of Jurgen Windcaller. Anyways, we are here to retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. As you can see here in the last video, we managed to kill a werewolf, and it is now my zombie werewolf. So, that might be a little fun to uh, watch him tear into some of our enemies but we are just about to head down into the tomb and uh, see what we find it's quite sad that we actually apparently lost our the vampire and our vigilant of Stindar that we had following us around as our zombie slaves, but oh, a werewolf is a nice consolation prize, anyways. All right, let's go ahead and move on in here. We did get a level up last time, and we invested our point into Master of Control. So, hello. What was that noise? So, Master of Control. I don't believe that actually took effect yet for the ones that we've summoned. But any new werewolves or ah, what has happened to our werewolf? Ah, that stinks. So apparently, our werewolf vanished when we entered the new area. All right, I guess we'll summon a bandit now. We actually should still have the werewolf though. What do we have down here? Looks like uh, necromancers perhaps. Hit and snipe these people, I think. These thralls of yours are slower than Arthonians in a brutal. Feel free to grab a pitch and help them out. I prefer not to sully myself with manual labor. There goes another one. See how useful you are with an arrow in your head. Less intelligent each time you raise them, if that's even possible. As long as they can swing a pickaxe where I tell them, they're as smart as you need. Hello. She should have been dead there. I don't know if that's my... I'm confused here. I don't know which undead is mine and which is my enemies. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and switch over to a melee weapon. We'll actually do the iron shards there. Just whack this necromancer in the face here. And I'll take a potion as well. Good grief. All right. 
right. Now she's dead. Gain a couple points in two handed weapons, too. That's not bad. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and let's just raise a lot of zombies here. I'll take a necromancer. You notice they are only charging me 20 upkeep now instead of 25. I think there should be another dead necromancer here. Here we are. I'll take that B though. I'll leave on the staff of frostbite. Okay, I have my little undead army now. Go ahead and go into sneak mode. I'll take the healing potion. I can definitely use that. Some nice spider eggs. All right, fool. That's something I can... Check our map here. I'm slightly turned around. It looks like I can go that way. I do believe I can. Let's go ahead and summon... Uh, I think a barbarian would be nice. Looks like we have another dead necromancer here. Uh, that was your death approaching, my friend. Let's go ahead and select a weapon here. I guess we'll stick with the hunting bow. All right, my minions. Kill these fools. Thank you. Some dead drugger here. Nothing there I really want. Got some bone mills, some more gold. Don't care about that. 
Uh, let's go ahead and raise this uh, Novus Conjurer. Fear Potion, some Black Mage Robes, and Staff of Zombies. Maximum minion count once again. Back to the bow. I do like that when you uh, raise wizards and conjurers from the dead, that they still get to keep their spells that they had when they were alive. To be perfectly honest, I'm not entirely sure that it should be like that. But... I'm not going to complain. <laughs> not too much, anyways. I have a lesser soul gem. That one's actually filled with a soul. I might use that to go ahead and refill my uh, hunting bow. Indeed, I think I will. All right, let's see here. Uh, which of these are... Shouldn't be under food. Shouldn't be under potions. This would be under miscellaneous. All right. Let's go ahead and use this common soul gem. Oh, you know what? Okay, T to charge. All right. Oh. Looks like the petty soul gem will fill it up just fine so most of those are empty I found a nice ring in there search the iron some healing potions. I'll take that canis root. Some empty urns. Potion of Alteration. This may be a skill book. Increased our restoration. I'll take that. Okay. Ah, here's some more good stuff. Maybe. Well, not so much good stuff. All 
head back the way we came here. I think it's this way that I want to go. There's quite possibly some traps around here. I would not be too surprised to run into a trap or two. Okay. Question is, which way do I want to go? Burn, Draga, burn. Don't you see? I am master of the arcade. Yes, of course you are. But I am your master, so what does that make me? Bell Tome, Ray Zombie. I already have that. I guess I can sell it though. Iron Helmet. Alright, I do believe this is going to lead upwards. Skirmisher's potion, a ruined book, and a chest. Scroll of mass paralysis. Ah, this is going to be the location we want right here. People just leaving gold everywhere. Silence! That's enough of that. All right, into the depths. So the question is, are my zombies going to follow me or not? Well, it's looking like it. At least one of them. That is the problem with the uh, the zombies versus the skeletons that you can summon. Take a look at our mod manager. Statistics. I don't recall if I have, uh, I don't actually have zombies listed as your minions that are being counted. Unless I have them on another page. Now that's a different kind of zombie. Okay. This is another thing. It shows you your bonuses. I actually have a health bonus of 20. For the one point that I have on Hardened Dead. Speed bonus of 100. That just means that... Uh, 
currently they're at a hundred percent speed not necessarily that they have a bonus of a hundred percent hello we're about to get shot by a jogger yes step right in front of me Alright, I think uh, now that we have gone ahead and entered the next section of the tomb, this is probably going to be a good spot to go ahead and end this video too. So we'll go ahead and stop it here. And as always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe. And we will see you again shortly. Thank you very much.